and no party. So we've had a couple from the right. I think Mark's right. Is he just right of centre? <laughs> so now let's go a little bit further left. Our next speaker is the national organiser for the trade unionists against the European Union. He's been a member of the Labour Party for over 25 years. He's written about the disconnect between, between true well, is Isabel, working class I, socialists another, and between the Islington Isabel. Champagne Socialists. Yeah. Amongst all of us here, finally, <laughs> he's probably the only lifelong supporter of Wolverhampton Wanderers. Please give a huge welcome to Mr. Paul Embry. Yeah. Thank you very much, friends, brothers and sisters, as you've heard, this is a battle, but it isn't just a battle any, anymore to leave the European Union. This is as much a battle now to defend the principle of democracy. Because in 2016, in the biggest democratic exercise this country has ever seen, a majority out of 33 million people voted to leave the European Union. They didn't vote to leave only with a deal. They didn't vote to leave, uh, but to remain in all of the institutions of the European Union. They didn't vote to half leave. They voted to leave, and leave should mean leave. And I come from the Labour and Trade Union movement, and once upon a time, the leadership of that movement was very clear that it was opposed to the European Union because it saw it for the anti-socialist and anti-democratic institution it was. And we had a movement whose leadership believed in the principles of democracy and self-government. And I think of the likes of Tony Benn and Peter Shaw and Barbara Castle and Bob Crow and Michael Foote, giants of the Labour movement, who believed passionately in the right of British people to govern themselves rather than have unelected technocrats in Brussels govern the country for us. Yes. And it's the leadership today that unfortunately has lost faith in the ability of working people to be able to defend themselves and protect themselves outside of the European Union. And my message to the leaders of my movement is if you want to stay relevant, then it's about time you put yourself on the side of the people over the establishment and big business. And you better do that damn quickly. And people say this country is divided 52-48. That isn't true. I know lots of Remainers. There are millions of Remainers. And I respect them because they voted the way they did, but they've accepted the result of the referendum and they've urged the government to get on with it. And we should pay tribute to those people because they are true Democrats. So let's be clear about where the divide is. The divide is not between 52 and 48. The divide is not anymore, anymore between Leavers and Remainers. The divide, very simply, is between Democrats and anti-Democrats. That's the divide. And we need to remember that what happened in June 2016 was a genuine democratic revolt. It was a revolt among millions of people who felt abandoned by their political class. These people had suffered under austerity and globalisation and they were suffering low wages and a lack of housing and those people put a missile through the status quo and they were absolutely right to do so and we should defend them 100%. And let's not have any of this nonsense that they didn't know what they were voting for. They were voting. They were voting to reassert democracy and community and self-government and belonging. And if their vote is not implemented, be in no doubt, it would be the biggest betrayal of democracy in the history of this country. And we need to stand against it. And I'll finish on this. For a lefty. <laughs> if they crush our voice, if they tell us that our voice still doesn't matter, if they continue to ignore the millions in those communities up and down Britain, in places like the North and the Midlands, if they continue to try to subvert our vote, we need the biggest campaign of peaceful civil disobedience that this country has ever seen. Yes! 
and we, all of us, all of us need to be at the forefront of that campaign. And it needs to embrace Leavers and Remainers because it will be a campaign for the Democrats against the Democrats. That's what should unite us. Stand strong, stand proud, stand united, fight for democracy. What a speaker, what a man.